what do you think about this one? Guys, it is the dawning of a new era. I usually have my camera now. We're gonna go thrifting today. Actually, we're gonna go to a whole bunch of shops, a whole bunch of stores because my friend who I'm going with um, still has a lot of Christmas shopping to do. I'm basically done, so I'm really just shopping for me. But um, we're gonna go thrifting today. This is gonna be my first time with the camera, so I'm not really sure how much footage I'm gonna be able to get because I don't know how comfortable I'm gonna be yet with like having my camera out in like public and everything and I'm in my bedroom right now. I'm waiting for her to come. I don't know where she is. Um, but so yeah, so I don't know how much footage I might be able to get and even the footage that I do get, I'm not sure how good it might be because I'm still getting used to the camera and like the angles. So we'll kind of see how this goes. I hope you guys enjoy going shopping, maybe just thrifting because I don't know where we're going. How many people are gonna be there? It might be too, too awkward to pull out the camera, but we're gonna see. So I guess we'll do like an outfit of the day. Quick, this is what it looks like. I think I still need like a sweater or something. I feel like it looks really plain. Maybe I'll just show. I'm wearing just um, this like dress that's actually thrifted, but it's from Express. Maybe not a good way to do this, we'll see. It's whatever. And then I got this leather jacket on. And the jacket, again, is thrifted, but it's actually by the brand Bar 3 or whatever, but I thrifted this a while ago. And then this scarf, I literally just got from DSW yesterday. I like it. It's lightweight. I have a couple of these, like, circle scarves that are black, but this one's the best one that I have because it's so lightweight or whatever. Um, and then I just have on some tights, and my room's a mess. That's okay. Tights, these are actually from TJ Maxx, but they are the, I think the KNY brand. They are so nice, they're so thick. And then my boots are from like last year, DSW. I got them for like $13. Everyone always compliments these boots. I love them, have them in green too. Then I've got like no jewelry on, no nothing, because I know I'm gonna be trying stuff on when I go thrifting, and so I don't wanna lose anything. So I've got zero, no rings on. <laughs> my nose itches. Got no rings on, no earrings on, because I don't wanna lose anything. So yeah. That's the outfit of the day. And then I'm gonna carry this little fringe bag. It's by, I think it's Madden Girl, and it's got like a little bit of a chain detail to it. I've never carried it before. It was like 25 bucks from like TJ Maxx or something, and I still haven't carried it, so. I think I'll do it crossbody. So it's a little shorter. I'm thinking though that I might need a sweater or something. So I just wanna see what it looks like with like a sweater on underneath it. This is like super oversized, but it matches the boots though. So I'll be like all matchy matchy, super matchy matchy. Yeah, I think this is gonna be good. And then throw this jacket on. And if it's too hot, I'll just take off the sweater underneath. Cause we're gonna be out like literally, literally all day. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Better. Okay. I don't even have a carry case though yet for my camera, which is probably not good. But so I'm just putting it in this little guy. It's like that I got with um, a gift set last year from the friend I'm actually going thrifting with. Um, but I guess I'm just gonna keep the camera in there. I don't know who she is. Did she text me yet? Oh my God. Oh, my name, my purse, my name, my purse, my name, my purse. So yeah, see, I, I don't know. I gotta get used to like the angles and everything. I'm gonna be, I'm so sorry if like the angles today are terrible and if the camera's all over the place, I'm so sorry. This is the first time, guys. We're gonna get better. My room's a mess, don't look at it. No text. We good, we Gucci, we Gucci. I need to take my trash out, I'm just too lazy. But anyways, okay, bye guys. I will try to film in the car. I'm not sure though if she wants to be on camera. She doesn't even know that I'm bringing the camera today. I'm just not gonna tell her until I like whip it out. She knows that I have the camera, but she doesn't know that I'm bringing it today. So I don't think she'll want to be on camera though, so you probably won't see her. But I don't know where she is and she's taking forever. I'm ready to go and I'm really hot in this sweater. <sighs> Let me just take the trash out. Okay, bye guys. So I'll see you, if not in the car, hopefully at the thrift store or wherever we go first. We have look at our whole cart. It's crazy. We have this dress, right? Was this up here? For you, right? The dress? Yeah. Sorry, it's me. This dress for you.
That's you. It's the yellow dress. This you? Mm -hmm. This is me, right? Do you like this or not? Yeah. Roman and Barbie, where you at? Wait, what size is this? Do you want to try it? Yeah. I got this for you. I don't know if you want this. Oh, what is it? A blend breaker? Yeah. Can we run? Do you like these? I don't know what size these are. Oh, this? I got that for you. Do you think this would be good for work? Uh, if I wear it with like for grab the oversized dress? Oh, all right. That's <laughs> you. My mom, right? Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay then. It's really pretty. If you don't want it, I'll yeah, take it. Should we get some? I know. It's not even half off, so yeah. I know. Oh. You found nice shirts. If whatever you don't want, let me see first. Oh. There's a band-aid in here. It's really grossing oh, me out. Stop it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I can't talk about that stuff anymore. My OCD just picks up. And it's like... <laughs> it's a band-aid. There's a bug in here. Oh, no. Oh, I like this leather jacket. What? <laughs> oh, I like this leather jacket. Here's the first Joe's jeans. Let me see. I'm gonna love them okay. on you. Yes. Do you don't think they're too tight? Can you sit? Yeah, of course. Go try to sit on the thing. I love them. Get them. And they'll fit nicely in boots if you don't want to wear something where they might yeah, show. I, I, I have both stretch out a little. Yeah, just don't dry them. Those are great jeans. I just want to try stuff on first and then wean it down. And then what? And then like wean it down if I have too much. Which probably will. This is this velvet thing is a pajama shirt. But I don't want hair. Can't decide on some stuff. Oh, Brooks Brothers, I can decide on that. Please. Yeah. Do you like that or no? Not that one. Maybe if it was like a plane and didn't have a pattern. Wait, do you want to you want to go eat first and then try to go the other one? Yeah, I like. Okay, because I feel like the other one, anyways, we can run through there pretty quickly. I kind of know the stuff I'm looking for. And let's try to be done at like six ish. Yeah. Where else do you want to go? Are we going to talk about it while we eat? Well, it's, I can't think of right now. <laughs> I mean, nothing's looking good. What did you say? You will be. Oh my god, I love trying on white shirts. I love it. Hi guys, it's Anna and I'm back again today with another thrift haul. I did include some of the footage before this, you obviously already saw it, of me going thrifting. I really apologize. Oh my god, Mally is already being annoying. I apologize. I know I didn't really get that much footage while I was there. I didn't really show a lot of me actually shopping. A lot of, oh my god, do you see her? Yeah, so I didn't really get that much footage while I was actually there at the thrift store, but it was just, there was kind of, it wasn't like there were a ton of people there, but there were too many people there for me to like feel comfortable bringing out the camera, it just would have been awkward. And I did get a little too excited and I just like started finding so much. So I was really, really focused that day. I tried. Next time I will try to do better and I will try to film more actually at the store, like in the store shopping around. Um, so let me know in the comments below if you guys would even like to see that, more of me actually going to the store, more me more of me there actually finding this stuff, and I could definitely do that. So give this video a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know if you guys want to see more of the follow me around shopping trips, Goodwill trips. Yeah. So I have been obsessed with finding like the cropped sweater vest type shirts because I think they look so nice dressed up to go to work and put like a cardigan or something over it, but they also look really nice for going out if you do it with like a really tight skirt. So I got this first one. It is just this gray kind of like knitted one. Super plain. It's just all the way gray and then it has a really nice 
knit texture to it. It is by the brand INC, so International Concepts. It is though 100% merino wool. That's the only thing I haven't dry cleaned it yet. I always get weird about washing wool myself because I know if you wet wool, it gets that nasty smell to it. So I hate paying for dry cleaning, but I just, I'm so weary about washing wool myself. And I think it was $4. I kind of have my prices mixed up today because there was color rotation and I wasn't really paying attention to how she was putting stuff in. So maybe I won't say the prices today. But this is usually like $4. And then for a second one, I got this really pretty pale baby blue one. This is actually a Brooks Brothers one. And it is 70% silk. Can't go wrong, Brooks Brothers. Oh, so pretty. And I love this freaking color. The blue, man. Then my friend actually found this shirt for me. It is just this really cute, like, color block black and white shirt. Uh, it's just so different from, like, anything else that I have in my closet, which is really why I loved it. It's got a really nice, like, cowl neck line to it, and then it kind of buttons up on the side. It just has, like, a button detail to it. It is by, I think, it's by Ann Taylor, so... It's really nice. It's like a silky kind of material. Not silk. It's not silk. But it's like a really nice lightweight like airy um, fabric to it. So I got that. It does have a little bit of like a pocket detail if you can see it right here. Which is kind of weird. But like I said the shirt is so different from anything that I have in my closet. Which is why I liked it. She found it for me. I'm thankful. Um, another sweater-ish type top but not the vest is just this gray. Oh I have a hair on me. Ew. Okay, it's just this gray sweater. Not much to it. I kind of wanted to get it as like more croppy type sweater, but it doesn't fit that way, which is fine though. But so this one is by Hasting and Smith. I got this one. The texture, you see how it's got like that texture to it on the front? It's only in the front. It's not on the back, um, which is kind of weird, but I got it that. My hair might be looking all the way crazy today. I can't even do anything about that. That's that curl life. I just made it worse. Again, I love, love, love flannels. Who really doesn't love flannels for like the winter time? Um, so I found this pretty colored one. It is from Old Navy and it just fits so nicely and for like four dollars, which I think is what I paid for it. I had to get it. I just, I love flannels. They're so easy to dress up, dress down, wear around the house. They're always good. So, the crazy thing is though, I didn't get anything J. Crew this time. That's usually like my staple pieces that I always find. I usually always find something J. Crew, but no J. Crew today. What's crazy though is since I don't really remember the prices, um, with the color rotation, some of these shirts I only got for literally a dollar. Which is crazy. Always crazy. I am never, I will never cease to be surprised. Is that, was that what I'm saying? I will never stop being like amazed by how inexpensive these things are that I find. But so of course Anna found some more velvet. Um, the first one I got is just this really pretty purple button up shirt and I actually think it's a pajama shirt but so I don't know yet if I'm going to wear it just around the house or if I'm actually going to wear it out casually but I had to get it come on so it's just this really pretty purple button up shirt all the way freaking velvet gotta love it this is by Allison Brittany not sure the brand like where that's from but I, I really 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 think this is a pajama top but Okay, it's okay. So I got that one. And then one of my most favorite finds from this day is this velvet skirt. Guys, it is a like floor length maxi skirt. It's a maxi skirt. So it's an all the way velvet maxi skirt. Like look at this. It's got like a scrunchy waist and then it's just super, super long. I think it's coming off as black. Is this black? It's either like a black or just a really dark, dark navy blue, but I think it's black. I don't, for some reason, I do not know what is wrong with me. I look back on my videos every single time I have to edit them, and I'm just like, girl, that's green. It's not orange. Where are you coming up with orange from? Like, I will say the most random colors. So if anyone else watches my videos and you're just like, what? Whenever I say, like, the colors of stuff, 
Just know I do it too. I do it too and I'm the one that said it. Clearly, I need to go back to color school or something. But, so I got this skirt and I'm pretty sure it was only like $4. So this will be worn a lot. A lot. I love it. I just... So now, two other skirts that my friend actually found for me that I was kind of iffy about um, until I tried them on and then I was like, yes, girl. So the first one is this black one. And it's just plain black. The only thing that makes it not plain is like the stitching detail that it has in it. There we go. It's kind of picking up. There we go. Am I even holding this right? No. This is the front. So it's got, ooh, let's see the detail. Yes, no. It's got really nice like stitching detail to it. And it's on the back as well, like up here, like it's trying to make like a false pocket. And then it's got these seam lines down the sides of it as well. But other than that, it's just a plain black skirt. It is by Express Design Studio, so Express. Um, but so yeah, I got this one. And then, love this skirt so much. It is just this black, white, and tan striped skirt. So it just looks like this. I love it. And it's just the same on the back. It has like a zipper and like a little pulley zipper detail. This one is from Ann Taylor Loft. I was really iffy about it at first because it's a size two, but it fit. So that was crazy. And the cool thing about this skirt though is that it still actually had the Ann Taylor Loft tags on it. So I paid $4 for the skirt. The original retail for it though is $69.50. So this is a $70 skirt that I only got for four and it still had that tag on. This is why too I tell people all the time like if you see some of the sizes, if you could see some of the sizes of like the clothes that I get from the thrift store, they're so all over the place, all over the place. Don't let the sizes turn you off, like I beg you, just don't let sizes turn you off. Don't just look at it on the hanger and let the size turn you off either. Try it on. If you love it, try it on. And this is why I tell people to like, just put what you like in the cart. Think about it later. When you get to the dressing room or you get to start trying stuff on, that's when you can really put it on and see if one, it actually fits, and two, if you're actually going to wear it. But last things that I'm going to show, I got six pairs of blue jeans. I consider them designer jeans because they are more of like a higher end brand of jeans. They're really something you would find at like Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, yeah, department stores. Um, so it's so funny because I was looking through the jeans and I told my friend, I was like, this location usually doesn't have good jeans. Like I usually never find good brand name jeans at this store. But then I went to a separate, it was like the smaller size, which I, I always look through all the sizes. I don't know what's wrong with me. But I wasn't going to check out the smaller size because I just knew they never really had good jeans. I saw some shoes on top of the rack. So I went over to that side and I started looking through the jeans and I was just like, oh my god, I spoke too soon. And I was putting like every single pair of jeans in my cart. It was amazing. And it's funny because I went there that day really, really thinking in my head that I knew I wanted to get pants. And that's why I wore that skirt too because I felt like it would be easier to try on pants with that. But anyways, let me show you the jeans. The first pair is this um, like light washed seven by all mankind jeans. These are cropped pants. So I got these a few dollars cheaper than the normal jeans anyways, but that's a different thing. Um, so they're light washed. This capri style is really gross. I'm gonna cut it and make it into shorts. Um, but so this is what the back looks like. It has that seven on the pockets. And then just seven for all mankind. Super straightforward. They're just light color jeans that Anna will be cutting and making into shorts. I think I paid like $4 for these because she didn't ring them up as normal jeans because they're not long. Then I got these Paige brand denim. Paige brand blue jeans. I love these because of the super dark wash about these. These just look so nice. They're just really thick nice denim material and I got stuff on it from washing it but so I got these beautiful dark wash with just a little bit of like a fading through the thigh and then here's what the back looks like just like that and they are flared is this flare or boot cut I have no idea but so yeah so this is just the page premium denim brand that is going to show it all probably won't and then it's got the little page detail on the back of it too the only thing, I almost didn't get these pants because they fit me at a weird length. They were like too short. And so I had my friend look at them and I was like, 
Um, if I wear these with maybe like a flat shoe, like sandals in the summertime, is it going to be awkward? And she was like, no, it's pushing awkward length, but it's fine. But then, ah, I get home and I, after I wash them because they were inside out, I look at the bottom, they were hemmed, but they weren't cut to be hemmed, which is like, OMG, whoever did this is brilliant because they were an awkward length, but all I have to do is take out the stitching because they just like folded up the end, the inside if that's showing at all. Like how they hemmed it, all they did was like poke it up and like iron it and then like stitch it together. So all I have to do is undo it and it's going to come right back apart and it'll be the regular longer length. So happy that I got these. I got them anyways because, I mean, for $6, I think is what I paid for jeans that day. Um, for $6 page denim, there was no way I was leaving them there. And look how nice they are. Even they have, like, that crease from being, like, folded. Oh, man. So happy. Then I scored another pair of dark wash jeans. These are another pair of seven for all mankind. This is the A pocket, and it's got a weird tag on it, like... Are Seven for All Mankind jeans no longer like such a higher end brand of jeans? Like I'm confused. Because this brand, it says the Lexi Petite on it, but it's like for some reason this little tag makes me think it looks cheaper. Cheaper. I don't know. But they are just an all around plain dark wash. They are kind of like, they have like white stitching in it. I don't know how to like describe that right. So here's the back. You can really faintly see the A that like, I don't know it's like a weird a mark that they do on some of their pants so again these are more I think these are actually boot cut maybe these are boot cut because they're more like straight then I wore these jeans the other day to work I love these they're a little bit too big so I have to wear a belt with them and they loosen up a teeny tiny bit because they're too big um, and they're just such a soft denim these are so freaking nice these are by Gap and they are just like these really skinny crop pants, um, like capri crops. Um, I did have to roll them up a little bit, otherwise they kind of hit me at an awkward spot on my leg. So I rolled them up, but I love these. I love the little zipper detail it has in the front. And then the back has these little like pockets like that. But oh, they just look so expensive. They look such like a high quality denim. I just, I can't even take it. It says on the tag, always skinny. Um, but I love these and the color's amazing. They are so soft. I don't know if that's because the person who wore them, wore them to that nice softness or if that's how they are, but Gap jeans doing the thing, man. The last two pairs of jeans, I actually got the same exact pair or the same exact style. I think they're in the same size, but it's like one fit me better than the other did. It was the weirdest thing. Like I tried one pair on and I was like, oh, these aren't gonna work, but I'm gonna get them anyways because they're seven for all mankind for $6. But then I tried on the other pair and they're the same exact thing and they fit better. It was so weird. But so here's what they look like. I like the lighter wash of these. They do have a lot of like fading and stuff throughout, um, but I really like these. And then they've got like, see, they've got that A pocket instead of like that seven design. These are definitely flared, right? Is this flared or boot cut? This is a flare. So I got two of these. They're the same exact thing, right? Yeah, they're like the same exact pants. Let me see. They have the Lexi, it says the A pocket. Yeah, so size 27, size 27, but one of these fits better than the other does, which is weird. So I got two of the same exact pairs of pants just because they were only $6 for seven jeans. Okay. I love jeans, designer brand jeans, and I guess I'm not as hip, which sounds really weird to say I'm not that old, but I guess I'm not really hip to like what are really the best designer brands for jeans right now. So please, in the comments below, let me know what some of your favorite brand of jeans are. They can be any high end, low end, lower end, I should say, um, jeans, but let me know what you consider to be the best most expensive high quality designer brand jeans because for a long time I was so into true religion jeans but I guess everyone kind of was but I still wear true religion jeans I love finding the seven for all mankind and the page and Hudson any of those that you can get at like Nordstrom Rack if I find them at the thrift store I'm just like girl yes
yes yes so that is everything that i found from this thrift trip if you haven't already please follow me on my social media i have two instagrams the first one is the miss my luck 91 that's where i probably will post some of these pictures of these clothes right here on that one and then the other one is just miss my luck please subscribe if you haven't and please like this video if you did so i will see you in the next one bye